we're in store for some rain, some colder temperatures, but nothing like that, no, right? No, but okay. this is just a major system. If you are flying into the Midwest today, from Chicago to Columbus to Cincy, you will be impacted. Tonight, it becomes a Northeast to New England affair for mm. tomorrow as well. Bringing Boston their biggest snow of the season. They could see five to eight inches, but north and west of the city, 10, 12, Albany, New York, 15 to 18 inches of snow. So this really has the potential to be quite a doozy for the Northeast and interior New England. There's also kind of a little wedge of ice there as well. That'll kind of be a more now casting scenario. But for us, we're on the southern side of the system, so it will be stormy, albeit short lived. So I'll time it out for you. Right now it's mild. You walk outside, it's cloudy, it's a little damp. There's a lot of fog out there, but temperatures are pretty mild. Average high this time of year is 53. Our low should be in the 30s this morning. We're going to get into the 20s, so we're going to bypass the 30s as we head toward the next 24, 36 hours. Visibilities again are quite low. We do have a dense fog advisory until 9 o'clock this morning. But here's the big picture. This is the storm system. You can see the snow. This is Chicago's morning for the snow in the afternoon. And then on the southern tail, this is it. Actually, you can even see some snow here. Look at this. Oklahoma headings, even snow in the south with the colder air coming in behind it. We'll get into some of that colder air too, I promise you. All right, here we are in Atlanta. So we've got kind of a few waves before the meat of the storm moves through us, and that will be tonight. So the whole day is not really a washout. Here we are in Atlanta. This is kind of a little bit of the rain showers. We'll see some light rain early on, but it's this few lines, this one, and then this will be the end game for us that will move through late tonight. So here's the timeline on it. Cloudy and a little bit showery this morning and through 11, you'll notice some showers around. Certainly no major washout. One o'clock, some heavier rain to the north, but then there's going to be a bit of a break between about one and four or five o'clock. And then here comes this line. Showers, thunderstorms, not even out of the question for an isolated kind of spin up tornado, very strong winds with it as well. So if you're heading out tonight between about five and eight or nine, that's kind of the heart of the storm moving through us quickly exits east uh, by tomorrow morning. We've got clearing skies, but very windy and cold conditions. So eight o'clock we've got sunshine, but it will be quite cold tomorrow, sunny and cold with a high only in the forties feeling colder than that. Here's the big picture. Once again, this is tonight at six o'clock, kind of the meat of it right over us. It moves eastward throughout tonight and into tomorrow morning and then the cold air settles in. We've got low temperatures in the 20s. Our storm risks heavy rain check. That's very high. Winds will be quite high as well and maybe an isolated pop up tornado possible. Here's what we're going to see throughout the day. Temperature is going to get to 60 degrees though, but again, it's not until about four or five o'clock. The beginning of this, the heavy rain, the wind, the isolated tornadoes, possibly some strong thunderstorms tomorrow, though, mostly sunny, windy and cold with a high of only 40 and then MLK day. Sunny skies will wake up to temperatures in the 20s. Next chance for rain after that is Wednesday and Thursday with temperatures in the 40s and 50s.